I'm Maggie Ernest. I'm a PCV in Audupri, and we're going to be going through how to construct three different types of hives. Um, the first is a clay pot hive, second is a Kenya top bar hive, and the third is a salpong hive. Okay, so here are the clay pot hives um, that we are putting together for your apiary. So the first thing is this bottom pot. The bottom pot should always be larger than the top pot. And this is to accommodate all of the colony will live in here. So usually you can ask your potter to design the holes. If your potter can't, um, you can make the holes yourself. You start with small nails and gradually increase the size gently hammering them in. You want these holes to be bigger than the holes that you put at the top. This is to allow the queen, the workers, and the drones to all be able to get into the bottom pot, which is where they will all live. It's the brood pot. The clay shouldn't break if the clay is good. However, if it does, the pot doesn't have to be spoiled. You can use some epoxy glue to fix it. Once you put in about 10 holes at the bottom here, the larger holes, you can then put smaller holes at the top. Usually a four inch nail can be used to make these holes. You can put just a small amount centered right on, on the top just so that the workers can get through. The reason for this is so when you place the smaller pot on top, since only the workers can get in here, there will be no eggs, no brood combs. It will all be honey. So when you harvest, this is the only one you need to take off to get to the honey. Once the holes are finished, you can then cut a piece of wood for your bottom. Before you connect the pot to the board, you need to bait the inside. Usually it is best to use beeswax to do this. Just take some small beeswax. If you don't have any yourself, you can go to any beekeeper in your area and get some. What you do is you just rub it all over the inside. What you're trying to do is make it smell like the beeswax. If it smells like the beeswax inside, it smells like home to the bees and they want to live there. Once you have finished baiting the inside of this, you bait the board as well by just rubbing the wax against it. Besides the beeswax, you can also use a mixture of six flowers perfume with some honey to bait your hives. So here, Mr. Okra has mixed the six, flo six flowers perfume with honey, and then with a toothbrush or some small brush, you can just apply it all inside of your hive. Then you replace the pot on top, and you will seal the bottom with some tape. Eventually the bees will come in and they will seal it themselves with propolis. But this is to give them a start to keep all the pests out. Then you do the same with the top pot. You take the beeswax and again you're just going to bait it by rubbing it all in. Once that is finished you place the top one on and again you can seal it with tape. The bees will come in and put the propolis in, but this is to keep out pests at the beginning. Once you've done that, then your hive is ready to go and you can start designing your apiary.